Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe. Uh, so today we have a janky one. Um, so this is a combo deck that involves a lot of moving pieces, self mill, and aristocrats. It's, it's basically every deck archetype I like in one kind of thrown together. So what we're trying to do here is self mill ourselves with Merfolk Seeker Keeper and Emery, uh, the Lurker. Um, and what we want to try to do is fill our graveyard as much as possible with cheap X spells. So Chamber Sentry, Stone Co uh, Coil Serpent, Ugin's Conjurant. Um, with these in the graveyard, uh, we have the ability to command the Dread Horde back a huge amount of these creatures, pay zero mana for them, with Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant out, effectively uh, mill them or drain them out of the game. Um, so there's kind of, whenever creatures enter the battlefield, we ping them damage. When they leave the battlefield, they lose life. Forever Young can set it up so we can put these all on top of our library. And then with Midnight Reaper, uh, we can draw a bunch of cards. Masker Girl is also a board wipe in this particular deck um, with a bunch of cheap creatures, kind of triggering her ability. Um, so it's very janky. I don't know if it's going to work, uh, but when it does work, it'll be hilarious, I'm hoping. Uh, so we will give it a shot. I'm going to be playing this as best of one. Uh, generally speaking, with best of like these kind of more glass cannony combo decks, I like best of one because this deck will just lose to like Ashiok, for example. Uh, we can't play around that. Um, so I'm going to test a couple games in unranked first. I just want to see if the configuration of spells makes sense. If we find that the deck is effective, we will play some ranked games with it and see how it fares in that context. Um, so thanks for all for tuning in. We are live on Twitch right now. As always, you can catch all my YouTube uh, video replays on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. In both cases, uh, if you do want to support the channel for free, you can drop a follow or subscribe. Uh, both are free and easy ways to help support the channel. Um... <clears throat> Probably fine. Corpse Knight into Celebrant into Celebrant. What's nice is uh, we could have actually played that for one, but we'll probably just wait. Okay, so this can be Simic Oko perhaps. Oh, this is the uh, Golgari list. Uh, not the, the Jund uh, Sacrifice list. So next turn I can go Cruel Celebrant and Chamber Sentry for one. And then follow it up with another Cruel Celebrant. And if we draw land, we can play Emery as well. So they might just be missing the red mana right now. Uh, some of these will play Korvald. Okay, so we hit another land, which is good. So here we'll just set up Celebrant. So the biggest the Sentry can be in this deck is three because we only have access to three colors. A Midnight Reaper would be good now, uh, just to give us some card draw. Opponent's probably reading this card saying, what the hell is this guy playing? They'll probably want to keep the Goose around, so it's fine. Uh, so they have the Goose, which can sack this, that triggers this to draw them a card, so there's a good interaction here. Um, these decks can usually get quite a bit of value. And that'll get them their red source. See what they fight here. That's fine. Again, what we're looking for is cards going into our graveyard. Ugin's Contract. So play out another Celebrant here.
play out Emery. So we can set it up to that. If we get a murderous rider in the graveyard, we can get it back. Uh, not quite what we wanted. I'm going to hold off on this till next turn. Um, we could just make it big enough to block the Wicked Wolf for the time being. A little unfortunate that the Command of the Dread Horde's in there. The one thing is if we self-mill our Dread Hordes, we can't get them back. Um, I don't necessarily want to play fourth color in this deck uh, because we got to keep our life total at a reasonable amount. I previously had this as a uh, Abzan version with Command the Dread Horde and the Wanderer kind of comboing together. It's actually a pretty cool interaction. You just sack the for the mana, and then you get it back uh, to draw a card. Uh, okay, so they can start shooting our stuff down with this, which kind of sucks. Um, because what I can do is I can block with the chamber sentry and then get it back with Emery, and then cast it again. So they can play this, they can sack a clue to kill one thing. They don't have a fourth, a fifth mana to make a second clue. They can also sack with Witch's Oven. Okay, so they go Devil here. The wolf's a little rough for us because, oh, I guess they can. So they float the mana there and then they might sack the goose, but that feels kind of loose in my opinion. They get the scry land. Uh, so this also has an ability on it. I, I honestly have never read Chamber Century, like, beyond the fact it's just a low-cost creature. Uh, so we can remove, it's got kind of the, um, the whatchamacallit ability, the, uh, Walking Ballista, but you gotta pay X into it and then tap it. Okay, so they spend a lot of resource here, killing that. They do have a way to kind of clear our board. So this might be a tough matchup. Mind you, if we can just get that, get to the point where you could get a Command the Dread Horde, we can probably do okay. Opponent's also playing incredibly slow. Interesting. Okay, well. Can't get anything back yet, so here's my 5-5. Five five. So how Ugin's Contra it it doesn't take damage. It um sorry, if so we could block the wicked wolf, we take just a, a counter off it, so it could take five hits from this mayhem devil, or it can effectively block five times on wicked wolf. Really just need to see a Midnight Reaper. Because like worst case now I can just block, get it back each turn. This 
So this is an easy block for us here. It's a recast each turn, and now we can make it bigger at three mana. Would have liked to have the Cruel Celebrants out there. They are going to get a lot of food tokens. If they get a cat out, then we're going to concede this one because we won't be able to deal with the reoccurring life gain sack ping effect. Okay, well, we got enough for command. We just need to hit a command. And then we can go from there. So we're live to command the Dread Horde. Stone Coil. Coil Serpent would also be good. It's got protection from like the pinging effects. Don't want to necessarily Forever Young yet. If we just draw like another land, then I'll probably just Forever Young a Cruel Celebrant on top. We could just cycle this, but I feel like if we can get the cards to combo off, because this turn, what we have? If we command, we get these come in with a Cruel Celebrant, so it's four damage on the ETB, and then two more damage with it coming down, and then we can always attack in, and then they're forced to block in some capacity. So this is fine. Like if they're gonna spend a lot of resources to kill like this chamber sentry, like we get it back each turn with Emery. I feel like you almost want to go after the Emery instead. They sack the goose. Okay, so they got the cat, so that's a little troublesome. We'll give it a couple turns, but they might just grind us out of value. The fact Savvy Hunter creates two foods per turn with this engine. I gotta play this deck. Seems sweet. got a second oven so it's a lot of life they're gonna get off the cat a third oven okay well they're gonna grind us we need to command the dread horde they got a couple geese in there as well Give it the turn. We were fine until Triple Oven Cat came out. I got Murderous Rider. The Command Dread Horde, I still think we could win. We just need to be able to draw that command, the Dread Horde. I might go back to, uh, there's the two mana tutor for undergrowth. I might put one of those in instead of Forever Young. Seems a little bit better there. Okay, so they still have Cat going. 
We'll block the Wicked Wolf here. Uh, Stone Coil doesn't quite do it, I don't think. So we can go Emery on top. This will gain us back some life, but I think we're dead. Because they just shoot this down. Probably going to concede this one. The problem is they're just going to keep looping and they're going to gain enough life that we can't actually kind of combo them at that point. Um, let me make that one switch. Uh, it's the... don't know why it's got all our colors selected. Let's just do undergrowth. Mausoleum secrets. So the fact they can search for any of these combo pieces is good. Oh, we need 60 cards. What did we cut? Oh, I accidentally cut a celebrant. Okay, let's run that back. Like that's probably a tough matchup. The fact they could just keep repeatedly pinging this stuff. They grinded a lot of card advantage on us. And then the cat just gains a lot of life. If there's stuff that we can just chump block or even like Oko's, like they upgrade all our creatures or they come in with counters. Um, I'm gonna keep this. We got Corpse Knight. If we draw another land, we can eventually get to the Midnight Reaper. Okay, it's probably enough Corpse Knights, thank you. Past turn. I need to keep this conjurant because it can trigger. So this one will actually be probably a little tough of a matchup. They're going to be aggressive, uh, especially with Gideon. Uh, you gave it it's Vigilance First Strike. Um, so I could self-mill. I think we just play this out. Play out an 0-4. Next turn, we Midnight Reaper. Just take the four here. Play the Corpse Knight, draw a card. Try to set it up that way. So I'm gonna do this this turn because I wanna be able to draw a card next turn. If they just do this might be a feather deck haven't really seen much feather cruel celebrant would be very good for us oh ask and you will be rewarded So they shock us. Uh, 
Um, here. It's past turn. So they can mentor. So they could plus this to mentor this. So we may have to be a little selective on how we block this turn. We've also done six damage without without even attacking. Okay, so that mentors that's ten damage on us. You have first strike, you have vigilance and mentor. So it's just double block like this. We end up only losing two life this way. Actually one life. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That lets us make the conjuring two power. I'm just gonna hit it for one. Uh, the reason being, I don't want it to be able to exile the Midnight Reaper. War boss is a little scary. They may opt to go with the Life Link here. So here, let's go you here. You here. I think we want to keep the Midnight Reaper alive. Okay, so we draw to... Oh, land? Oh, Massacre Girl is also good. Oh, why is it coming to play tapped? No. Um, so we'll set up the scry here. Serpent's actually fine. So, I need the one so I can attack. So the problem here is be, they likely block with the swift blade. So swipes their board at least. Um, I'll save that for next turn. So here I, c I effectively have six life. So I can command for these. And then I can also have a stone coil serpent, which is actually enough. So we'll just pass the turn. I was going to throw this block in here. I need to keep my life total high. Oh, I actually can't win now. I forgot they had the minus. And then they can get the shock back. So Corpse Knight. Yeah, we're just a turn too slow. If they didn't get that attack in, we would have won. Because here they should just flash back the shock. Ah, that's unfortunate. We had him there. So 
the deck's showing elements of what it can possibly do. Don't really think there's a way to like gain massive amounts of life. Okay, so this hand's not gonna do anything. This hand's also not gonna do much. Maybe we keep it. We got a command in hand. We'll see what we get in our first draw. Okay, so not terrible. This is also a blocker. This thins out our library a bit. What are the chances that Empty Handlock is playing Esper Stacks? Could still be Stacks. Okay, well, we're getting there. Um, can't be targeted by a lot of stuff, so let's just make this three. Do need to be somewhat mindful of my life total. block here. Actually, I probably should have kept that in case we had a Celebrant. Tonebound Lich. Oh, okay, this is a Dracoseth deck. So they're going to look to give it haste and wipe our board. Just pass the turn. Um, this is a free block because of protection. Not too sure if they read the card fully. We could kind of steal their own Dracoseth, which would be funny. Kind of want to do that. Okay, we got a stone coil. So these might just win the game just by being beaters, which is actually pretty funny. Haste flying. Too little, too late. Too little, too late. I don't know what's up with this deck. If we can tweak it, is it just too slow? How do we put cards in our graveyard? Let's run it back. The core is there. Like there are just some weird interactions. Um, 
Yeah, we'll keep this. We got Emery. Uh, do I want to go Contrant on one? Actually, you know what? If we do this on one, I could Emery on two. Emery on two, and then we can hopefully start looping. So, bad series of uh, shock lands against an aggressive deck. If they attack with the banneret, I'll just uh, block here. We can always recast it with the Emery. We will take that trade because now we can cast it for two mana. Play the Godless Shrine tapped. Um, this kind of forces them. We'll just pay two this turn. There's a question to play the Conjurant, but they're not really going wide at this point. Interesting. Opponent wasn't really dead on board. Let me give, what did we get? What did we get? Loaming Shaman. I'm just gonna give Arena a quick reset. Lagging a little on my end. How's everyone doing today? We are jamming a Cheerios list, usually referred to, I'm calling it X's and O's. Um, we're basically looking to self mill um, and then have a bunch of X spells get brought back with Command the Dread Horde and kind of take them from there. Um, Massacre Girl is probably still better. You know, maybe instead of Massacre Girl. We try Kaya's Wrath. That could give us an edge in the creature matchups. Like we really don't care if our stuff dies. There's also consideration we can play Doom Foretold. We'd have cheap things to sack. Draws us a card, kind of locks the opponent out. Maybe we drop Forever Young, play one Doom Foretold, and kind of set it up that way. Uh, let's keep this hand. This on. Okay, well, this finds us our command the Dread Horde. All creatures, great for us. So, next turn, I'm going to. Just gonna play out the Seeker Keeper. And just pass the turn. We'll get a black spell here. This can be Bant Ramp, could be, oh, this is a Reclamation deck. Okay, so we want the Swamp. We're more black than anything. So here... So they could have Flame Sweep. They could also have Sinister Sabotage. So Flame Sweep gets us. Still think we do this. They have the Sabotage, they play it. 
mystical dispute. Okay, well. Let's just play this out. Um, Conjurant survives. If they have like a board wipe, so we'll play that. Pass turn. Yeah, they have the flame sweep. Why is that not doing what it's supposed? If damage would be dealt while it has one can I prevent that damage and remove that many. Ah, okay, so it's still the die. Let's try to drop down a Reaper. Why did it do that? Stupid auto tapper. Wanted to self mill. Ah, uh, stupid auto tapper. So I can. We just really need mana at this point. So let's self mill. Hopefully not hit all our commands. Okay, that's fine. So I'm doing this just for two. Um, reason being, I wanna get Command the Dread Horde because we can get a pretty big uh, loop going. That's fine, they just do it for one. Them not hitting reclamation's good. can also bait out a counter if they have it. Sorry, just trying to take a look. Come on. Ah, Skyland. We wanted that opening. So they know that we have it. And I'm guessing they have a substantial amount of counter spells, or now at least. If they get it, they can explosion. Cause that's four they can explosion us for a hefty amount well I came here to cast command the dread horde so that's five seven Nine, twelve. Ah, they got the counter. don't think we can actually win this game between chemisters insight and the such 
Oh, I really can't win the game now. No, I need a, I need a command there, but my guess is they had it. Niv would uh, shoot everything down for us. I want to just combo off. Why do people playing interactive magic? I just want to play the jank. Maybe we go thought erasure. That could put stuff into our graveyard. Go that route. Um. Let's keep this. I don't know what we're playing against yet, but we know what we want to be doing. Okay, so unfortunately one of our commands is in there. If this is a non-aggressive deck, which we still don't know, so... Let's just play this out, not give them any more information. Depending what dies, I may opt to go get a Midnight Reaper with the, uh, the Mausoleum Secrets. So this can be Flash. So let me play like Grixis Fires or some random thing like that. Like Jeskai Fires all day. Wipe my board, don't care. So I gotta get a white source here. So we'll just pass the turn. I have to fairies. My guess they blow. They bounce the celebrant. Okay, so we got the land. So I think we. Shock, Celebrant, Conjurant for one. Just pass the turn. This gives us two attackers. Uh, this is likely the, um, the blue-white control list that we played on the channel a couple days ago. So it's got like mass manipulation. So they don't have a four mana board wipe. We got a leak guard mage. Sure. So Merfolk Seeker Keeper. So we got a bunch of cheapo stuff. Um, I don't really want to. Attack just yet, so let's just pass the turn. This is instant speed, so I'm gonna get a murderous or a midnight reaper. I don't care if stuff dies then. Oh, this might be the battlement deck. Oh, I like this a lot more now. So we just need to be mindful of our life total. This being a 4-4 four four is also kind of scary. Why didn't it give us a chance to play this? I 
is very annoying. Put a stop. Should have been Midnight Reaper turn. We still can get a command, but I think Reaper just digs us deeper. Oh, it's Teferi, that's why. I'm an idiot. Oh, we just lost two turns. Master Splicer. All right, well, it's the obligatory forget the static ability on a card. The deputy are celebrants. That's just idiotic of me. So new plans, just try to drag this game out. Mausoleum one uh, secrets for Command the Dread Horde and go from there. I'm so stupid. This game was actually within reach. So they reset this, they get all three of our celebrants. Okay, I'm just gonna cut. That one's on me. That one is on me. For as much as I play to fairies, I own a paper play set. Just the important things, folks, reading your cards. Maybe we want Fibblethip. Cycles us and draw cards. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this. Um, so I'm going to see how aggressive the opponent goes. White Witch's Oven. So the thing is, I can do Sentry uh, on 1, Emery on 2, or I can get the value at a Corpse Knight. I think we go the sentry plan. This can be black white aristocrats. Our mana base is also super painful, which hurts. How do they have cat on one? Like oven, cat, black white life gain. Pass turn. I'm not gonna win this one. Too much life damage from that and with the reoccurring. Okay, let me put Fibble Thip in. Seems like we keep getting trapped on the card draw. Uh, so Forever Young's been pretty mediocre. Get rid of the Kaya's Wrath and Fibble. Just go from that. There's like something here, I just don't know what the numbers are. And you're like competing, it might be just the Merfolk even. Just play more card draw. Maybe Charming Prince, you could bounce stuff to gain the life, play more that way. Maybe to fairies, just to protect against counters. Um, I'm gonna mulligan this. Nah, we keep, we keep. I'm gonna shock on one.
Okay. Well, opponent decided for us the one problem of playing. Okay, come on. Okay, claim prize. Play the game. Arena needs a moment. So we'll run this and then take it from there. There's that sweet pioneer list that was a blue eye control field of the dead. Okay, so no blue mana. So, but we play first, we have a temple to try to draw onto it. Got there. So I'm actually gonna go Fibble Thip next turn. It can trade. Corpse Knight's also good. They want to play it, pay a mana to go unblockable. I'm fine with that. We will happily take the trade here. So hurts a little. I have to shock myself. Let's make sure you tap properly. This makes Emery cost two. We'll just pass turn. Next turn, I can self mill some more. We just gotta just keep taking these trades. We'll win through attrition. So it's actually not too bad. We do this. Hit ourselves. Got another chamber, which is good. So we got two X spells. We need to hit a Cruel Celebrant though. We're taking too much damage right now. This can block next turn at least. Uh, full price light up the stage. That's actually really good. Oh, that's awkward. It's fine, we still play out both. Because if we can get, we got just the one Corpse Knight, so we don't have enough to deal them lethal. Uh, Torbrand's really bad with the first strike. I don't know what it's... What we're preventing here. Okay, so we can block one of these and then um, tap to remove to kill the other one. So block here, kill this one. Seems like a plan. We're gonna have to throw something in front of Torbran. That just straight up does five damage or four damage. 
Oh, that's actually disgusting. I don't think we could command. Because we need a cruel celebrant turn. Oh, these have unblockable, so we're dead. We took out the Kaya's Wrath. If we had a Cruel Celebrant, could have had a chance. So block here, block here, block here, activate you, kill that. So that dies. <laughs> That's not going to work, folks. Jeez. Can't get one. So let's make one more change. Like, we need the card draw. Wall lost thoughts. Let's just run it back one more. Or yeah, let's run it back one more. I just don't think this has got what it takes. Cause like you could do Emery with um, like the orbs, but they're not that good. Like. Uh, we can do cat combo. Go first. We do this on one. Hopefully draw a land. Play that on two. Midnight Reaper on three. Let's try it out. The mana base has felt pretty bad with this deck too. Perfect. Never didn't have it. So midnight into midnight, we'll be taking some damage, but hopefully draw some cards. Just make this a creature deck. So we'll see what the opponent's game plan is with the knight. I guess it's just black white knights. This interaction is going to be very dangerous for us. Hmm. It's big enough to attack in. They just, like any knight they play now, generates two points of damage. I think we just need to play this out, start attacking it and trying to draw some cards. That's fine. Second Conjuring's good. And we got Fibbles. See if they want a double block here. Likely not.
We just need to gum up the ground. Next turn, Fibblethip will draw us a card. Ooh, this is going to be rough. Double worthy night. That's actually bad. We don't get the life gain now off these death triggers. Emery can fill, but I still think we do Fibblethip. Let's go Fibblethip first, draws us a card. Okay, so we got the command. Do I just go and try to get a Celebrant? It's probably the play. Just attack in here. Didn't think they'd block. Okay, so they cast Rider. I could go Celebrant. Emery next turn and then command. Oh, we're just dead. Yeah, we're probably just dead. I can't command from this point. Kind of regret taking out the Massacre Girl, to be honest. Do I have any cheapos? No. So probably just cast Emery here. Got another Corpse Knight. So if they have another Swordmaster, we're dead. kills us. Ah, that's annoying. All right, well, it's pretty much the deck. We got the essence of what we were trying to do, just were unsuccessful in pulling it off. Um, feels just a little bit too slow. Like you're all in on this kind of approach and the fact that these don't do too much on their own. Um, if we play it again, I think maybe going more the afterlife approach may be useful. Um, instead of kind of like with this, just play more of a attrition grind game uh, and then command as a win con afterwards. Uh, even the tokens list we played felt a lot better. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll have this up on YouTube if you missed any part. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.